that's the definition of harmful content, and it's also a slippery slope. Uh, uh, in Western democracy, we usually have a liberal approach to uh, freedom of speech, and that is in the US maybe more so than in Europe, but nevertheless, I think also in Europe, the notion of freedom of expression, free speech, is very important, and it's a pillar of our democratic societies. Uh, at the same time, uh, we cannot close our eyes that there is abuse of that freedom by some, and there are very gory examples of videos that are made public or even live of murderous acts uh, where the videos are made live and obviously these cannot be uh, tolerated but how to do it uh, is yet uh, another story. Do you need humans who monitor everything? Uh, can you leave that to machines to recognize? I think it's an issue the big platforms are fully aware of, uh, but uh, they struggle with it themselves. They realize that they, are, they offer something uh, and they're being abused, but how do you control it? Uh, at the same time also, uh, it's an, also an individual responsibility. Don't look at it. If there is, don't click on everything and also don't believe everything you read on these platforms. I mean, this is, uh, they usually has a, yes, we have freedom of speech and we have centuries of tradition, but in traditional media, there is a first moderation of content through professional journalists, whereas through the platforms, anybody can say anything and Unfortunately, people sometimes believe what they read on a social network, although it's blatant lie. And there we have examples of elections, of votes being influenced by uh, these postings, but it is a challenge.